Hello everyone, my name is Har Singh and today I will be presenting our analysis on financial viability of CCUS. Problem statement. The core question we addressed is, at what voluntary carbon price or involuntary carbon tax does CCUS becomes financially viable? Second consideration is, is the feasibility of CCUS as renewable energy sources gradually take over as the dominant power supply by 2050? Objectives. Our primary objective is to determine the specific carbon price that makes CCUS projects profitable. Our secondary objective is we also want to evaluate whether CCUS will stay relevant or cost effect effective as the global energy makes transition towards renewables. Data understanding. In our data, we are using four sets of different sections. The first one is CO2 pricing. We analyze both voluntary carbon credits and involuntary carbon taxes to assess their impact on CCUS economics. The second data that we are working on is CCUS project costs. We examine data on cost of existing CCUS projects, including operation and capital expenditures to understand the relationship between cost and captured carbon. The third data that we are working on are global emission reductions, CO2 emissions, in which we forecasted emissions reductions by sector and region, focusing on CCUS's role in mitigating carbon emissions. The last but not least, we are working on carbon ETFs data to look at exchange traded funds on carbon to get insights into market-driven incentives and investor confidence in future carbon pricing. Problem analysis. The data preparation. The very first, what we did is we handled features with 100% no data. We removed all of these features which had 100% no data and then we handled the uh, missing numerical data by replacing values with medians. And third, we handled missing values of category, uh, categorical features filling with unknown. Carbon pricing trends. Evolution of carbon pricing over time. Carbon pricing has evolved from fixed rate taxes to more sophisticated emissions trading schemes, ETS, which with price fluctuating based on market trends and regional policies. While we see dramatic price spikes, especially in 2020, most carbon prices are clustered around the lower range, below $5,000 per ton. Regional insights. Carbon prices have increased steadily across regions. By 2024, major countries are approaching $300 per ton. Europe in particular, shows higher prices. Global distribution. A world map highlights regional variations with North America generally having lower carbon prices and Europe having higher prices. CCUS cap uh, capacity and efficiency. We analyzed how efficiently CCUS projects, CCUS projects are using their announced capacities. Low utilization might point to inefficiencies in project execution. Different sectors such as power generation, cement, and oil and gas vary in their efficiency at implementing CCUS technologies, with power generation often being more successful. Conclusion Capacity utilization is crucial to project success. Projects with high utilization rates are more successful in meeting carbon capture targets. Sector insights. Power generation is leading in CCUS adoption, but sectors like cement and oil and gas face more technical challenges. Regions with higher carbon prices tend to have more successful CCUS projects with fewer cancel cancellation or suspensions. We developed a predictive model using linear regression and random forest techniques 
to forecast carbon prices. While the model is accurate, overfitting is a concern for unseen data. The model helps in making informed decisions about CCUS investments and strategies, especially as carbon pricing evolves. We recommend continuous validation with new data and explore more sophisticated models for future improvements. Thank you so much. And this is our presentation for Datathon by Antarctic Energy. Thank you.